Dan cannot know anything for certain. And yet he'll go on in these debates and he'll say that it's impossible for God to exist. A being who is omniscient and personal cannot exist. A being who is eternal cannot possibly exist. An infinite God and an all-knowing God cannot exist logically. You said that logic, that logic is, is a function of humans, right? You said that logic is a function of humans, just like digestion is, is yeah, a function of Yeah, it is a function of, of a functioning brain, not just Right, humans, of a functioning I mean, brain. Uh, now, let me ask you this question, Dan. Before there were functioning brains, could God exist? If God is a, an, a being right. in the universe, then of course. So when you say it's impossible for God to exist, you've been refuted. We round it off, we go with it, although we all have to admit that we are not absolutely certain. But are you, you certain be, that we have to admit that, Dan? I'm very certain that we have to admit that, yes. You but have to, you're, you're, you're certain just digging that we have this. to admit that we don't have certainty. Don't you see a problem there? You see, folks, that's the folly of atheism, and people are I, paying $5,000 a seat to listen to that nonsense. Dan, um, could you be wrong about everything you claim to know? Yes. Okay, that's fine. So stop making knowledge claims, please. Well, can you be wrong? No, there's some things that I can't be wrong about because I trust in revelation from a God who knows everything. So Why do you trust that? So there's things that I can't be wrong about. There's Why do you trust it? Pardon me? What, what made you trust that? You know what makes me trust that? Because if you don't, first of all, the revelation of the Holy Spirit. But if you don't, your worldview is reduced to absurdity. That's why I trust it. Because then you have to say, I reason that my reasoning is valid. I so where that do my you get your information I remember that my memory is valid. And that's absurd. The reason that Dan cannot know these things to be true is because he hasn't repented. If Dan knows his scripture in 2 Timothy 2.25, it says that repentance comes before a knowledge of the truth. And too often Christians are trying to get unbelievers to see the truth so that they repent. But Dan has to repent of denying the God that he knows exists, the very foundation of truth, before he can see the truth. So arguing these things, these issues with Dan, I think without attacking his presuppositions, is folly.